It never fails. Guess what I found at Target today? <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Prepare for lunch. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. Coming to you from the Nerd Den, located high atop Luna Base. And it just goes to show you, every time I order something online after I get tired of looking for it, within a few days, I find it on the shelf somewhere. And the Cobra Bat is no exception. Ah, uh, yeah, went to Target today, found this, and an alley viper go figure uh i was actually gonna leave both of them because well if you've seen my other video let's see where is that thing i've already got a viper or uh, a bat right there now I'll be honest the alley viper just doesn't do it for me uh, i just don't care for that figure that decor so i left it for someone else but i decided to go back and get a bat because those clever folks at Hasbro, they know what they're doing. This bat, if you can see, two head sculpts. One normal, one battle damaged. And I really want to display both versions. So let's pop this thing open, take a look at it, see what we think. All right, we've got this bat open. Decided I'd save your ears the trouble of listening to that crunching plastic case and here we go the classic cobra bat ah, i remember the uh original vintage version of this had the little lenticular gearbox on the chest it was so cool uh of course we have standard hands that come with it robotic hands of course, you have the three attachments. You've got the claw. Beware the claw. A flamethrower. And I'm not sure what that is. Is that like a blaster or, I don't know, hose nozzle? I don't know what that does. Uh, you get those three. And you get this little backpack to store whichever attachments you're not using at the time. I think that's great. I love being able to store all this stuff with the figure. Then, of course, you have the battle damaged head with the little optical sensor sticking through. Uh, you have your little pistol. And then we have two different chest plates, one solid one, then one battle damaged. And I'll be honest, this one I'll probably never use because why in the world would you want to cover that up? That is iconic. That is what makes a bat a bat, in my opinion. So if I do a battle damaged one, I'll probably do this one for the battle damaged version, just so you can see the gears popping through a little bit. But uh, the regular version, I'll probably just leave it fully exposed. So uh, I'm going to stick all the accessories on there and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, uh, I've got the figure all put together. Actually, I grabbed my other one off the shelf back there. So let's take a uh, look at both versions. So here's the uh, original one I got. And I've got him in uh, the fully functional mode, let's call it that. Got a pistol in hand. Decided to put the uh, claw grip on there. Got the exposed mechanics there in the helmet. Of course, got the backpack to store all the extra pieces got the hand the nozzle and the flamethrower accessory there very cool so that looks great on the shelf and then here we have the battle damaged version got the little ocular sensor sticking out there and uh 
all dented up and holes in the chest guard. Decided to put the uh, flamethrower attachment on this one. So yeah, I'm just really loving this figure. Uh, glad I decided to go back and pick up the second one. So those will look great together on the shelf. So yeah, that's uh, the Cobra Bats. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little look at them. Uh, while we're talking about G.I. Joe, uh, the Hiss Tank, HasLab, just keeps rolling on. Ha ha. Um, the second stretch goal has already been reached. That was the uh, retro style canopy and uh, side guards. I'll throw a picture of that up for you. Uh, that's already been reached, so that's just incredible. Uh, they have not announced the third stretch goal yet, so I'll, I'm, I'm curious to see what that is. They did, however, uh, release images of the six options for the uh, tactician figure that will be coming uh, with the his tank now that uh, the goal was reached within eight or nine hours. <laughs> needed to uh, do it within a week. Didn't need a week. Just needed a few hours. So uh, those look really cool. I'll throw a picture of all those up. Really? I have to say, I don't think there's really a bad option in this batch. But for some reason, I'm kind of leaning towards the purple one. I don't know what it is about that one, but I think that one's really cool. So anyways, the uh, HasLab Hiss going strong. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if you're picking that up. Uh, I'm debating. $300 is a hefty price tag. And I'll be honest, G.I. Joe is kind of a side collection that I do. That might be a bit too much of a commitment to that tank when i uh, just not sure I really have a place for it in the collection. But yeah, let me know if you're picking it up. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for today. Uh, if you enjoy this, uh, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you know whenever I post a new video. Tell your friends. Uh, glad to say the channel is growing. Growing quite nicely, but let's keep it going. Uh, so appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys next time around.